everyone, this is Jessica with svgaddict.com and I'm here to show you how to put the Hats Off SVG kit together. We're going to start with the graduation cap gift box and I've already cut everything out and what you're going to do is you're going to want to start by folding over all the seams and then I'm going to start with the bottom box. You're just going to add glue to your tabs, fold them over, and glue them down. And just do that for each side here. Okay. Okay, once you're done with this box, we're going to move on to the top, which is this part right here. And we've got all 10 of our circles here, and this is, creates the button on the top of the hat. You're just going to glue them together. Top it off with the last one and make sure they're all even on the sides. Okay, and there's the top for our hat. Now I'm going to take this piece and going to add the button to the top. You're going to want to do it on the side that has this curved tab here. And we're just going to glue it to the center. You can add a tassel. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube how to make a tassel with twine, yarn, and there we go. And just let this dry. Okay, now we're going to assemble the gift card holder. You're just going to add glue to your tabs here and then fold it over and glue it in just like that it folds over to hold the gift card and then that is going to get put into the top of the bat which is right here and I'm going to use my my adhesive roller here and I'm just going to put that right in here okay and then you can add velcro or you can glue it down and then you're going to put the card insert in the top, add your adhesive, and then glue it down. Okay, now we're going to assemble the top of the, we're going to assemble the top of the box, and you're just going, you fold down all of your seams there, and then glue down all the tabs together. Okay. 
And this hat box is perfect for filling with rolled up bills, dollar bills, or um, Smarty candies. I'm going to give this to my fifth grader that is graduating fifth grade this year. I will probably roll up a bunch of ones, maybe a couple fives. And that is just going to go right on top of the box. And there are finger holes to pull it out. And now we're going to glue the top together, which you're going to put glue on these tabs right here on the sides and glue them over. I love this box because it has two different compartments. It's got a card in the top. You can put a gift card if you want. And then goodies on the bottom. Okay, once you've got all four of these small tabs glued down, then you're going to start, then you're going to glue it to the top of the box. Oh, my glue doesn't want to work today again. trouble with that little corner there. But the glue doesn't want to glue down. Okay, now that they're all glued down, I'm going to fold over these tabs here and then you're going to tuck in the top. And that creates the top of the box. And then you're going to add glue to this top and position the, the top of the hat how you want it and then glue it down. And there is the graduation cap gift box. Now we're going to assemble the scroll shaped card and I've already cut out all my pieces here. <clears throat> we're going to start with the card base and we're going to glue the scroll on, we're going to glue the scroll top onto the scroll bottom. And we're just going to line it up with the edge and glue it down. Just like that. And then I'm going to add ribbon to the center. I'm going to put some adhesive on the back here and add my ribbon in the center here. Just like that. And then I'm going to take a second piece of ribbon and tie it in a knot. A loose knot. And glue it down in the center here. just like that. If my glue would work. I use sticky adhesive. Ah. And there we go.
go. And now I'm going to glue this onto the card. I'm just going to add glue. <clears throat> and I'm going to angle it on mine. And glue it down. Okay. Probably better off using a glue dot on this if you're going to be using ribbon. So let's work on the inserts. Now this is a money holder and you put a dollar bill inside and you put it inside and then you're going to fold your tabs over. Then you're going to add glue here and here and glue it down. Make sure you don't use too much glue so that it doesn't glue to the to the um, to the dollar bill. And we're going to go ahead and glue that down. And just center it on the card here. And then here is another panel that you can put up here, the insert. And put it right in the on the top for a sentiment. Okay, so there's this card. And I've cut out, there's numbers in there, 0 through 9, so you can do any year. And I'm going to add 2013 on here for my 5th grader. Okay, now we're getting ready to assemble the scrapbook page. I've already got everything cut out. And we're going to go ahead and start with the... With the 2013 I've cut out, I've made these all the way up until 2020, so there should be a lot, um, enough in there for a few years anyway. Um, let's go ahead and start gluing down the numbers. Let me start with the two. I'm just going to center them. And there we go, we're going to end it with that three there. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to fold over this tab here. There's no um, score lines, so you're just going to have to fold it and just match it up with the holes underneath. If you did not use a... Um, Pattern paper or you used a double-sided paper you can fold them this way and give it um, a different look but I'm gonna fold it over and we're gonna take the frame top and we're gonna place the frame top inside and we're just gonna fold it over and add your brads You can use eyelets also if you want. And there we go. And now we're going to start with the panel here. And going to glue it down. I'm going to use my adhesive here. Oh, and I ran out. I 
guess I'll be using glue. Okay, and I'm just going to place this down onto my 12 by 12 paper and center it and get it down. Okay, and now we're going to add the frame bottom and just add that right on there centering it in the oval and now you would place your picture in between the frame bottom and the frame top and then glue down and then glue down the top panel here the 2013 and then we'll go ahead and do your banner your um, ribbon this is the bottom. I'm going to put it all the way against the side here. Okay, and then here is the top, which you can add a nice sentiment on or a little story. Okay, and there you go. There is the 2000. 13 graduation scrapbook layout. Like I said, they go all the way up to 2020. Okay, now we're getting ready to do the congrats grad uh, money holder card. And I've already cut out all the pieces. I folded everything over all my seams. I've inked all my edges that I wanted to ink. So let's go ahead and get started with the back. And you're just going to fold over the tab and crease it at the seam there. And then you're going to take the congrats uh, page, which is this one right here. And we're going to glue this to the top of that on the back. Just add glue to your tab there. And then you're going to... Line it up with the top edge of the card here. Not the lettering, just under the lettering. And you're going to line them up, just like that. Okay, and now we're going to take this panel and flip up the tab, increase the seam, and then we're going to add the front which is this right here. And we're just gonna add glue to this right here. And then we're going to place the card, line it up with the score marks, and glue it down. Okay. And then there's our folding card. And it stands up like that. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and work on the congrats tab here. Take your um, congrats panel and add glue to the back and glue it down. Okay, now just take it and go ahead and glue it down, centering it on that page. Okay, there we go. And that's glued down nice. And then on this page, we're going to put the money um, holder, which is just this little sleeve here. And you're just going to tuck your bill in. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold over your tabs, add glue to the tab, Then you're going to fold them in and push them down. And then we're just going to glue this to that congrats panel there. Okay, and I'm going to do it a little bit 
lower and do it right there. Okay. Now we're going to now we're going to work with the the inside front. And here's the panel for the inside front. And you're just going to glue it in. Okay, now we're going to work with the front panel. We're going to add the grad bottom and grad top onto the front panel. This is the front panel. There's the bottom. There's the top. I've already glued them down. Okay, now we're going to add the grad hat, which I think I'm going to pop up. So I'm just going to add my foam, my foam squares to it. And go ahead and just place that right over. And there we go. And there's the graduation hat on top. And now we're just going to add this panel onto the front. And we'll just glue that down. And center it and glue it down. Okay, and there's our card.